How's it going guys? Our Triple XC here and um, we're packing up. We're kind of moving uh, apartments and so my room's kind of a mess and stuff and I kind of already packed away a lot of the Bakugan and uh, excuse my hair, kind of looking a little, can I, can I jet Kuzo into this thing a little bit? Yeah, it's kind of, but um, <laughs> uh, I thought I would take this time to actually do another Pokemon video since I said I was going to do that. So um, here we go. Uh, <laughs> um, I was going to talk about some of the stuff we learned at like E3, uh, and we got a couple new Pokemon, we got some uh, kind of important information, and then there's the whole like community like combusting thing going on right now. So um, again, Pokemon is really like where my heart is and stuff like that, and it's hard for me to like hate on it at all. Uh, so if you're looking for a hate video, uh, go away. Because <laughs> I'm really not going to hate on it. So I know there's some of you out there who might be that way right now. Uh, I can't. I can't bring it to myself to hate on them yet. Um, it's just something that's been with me since I was a kid. And the game still literally looks fun. So you can't tell me not to buy this game or complain about it. So if you want that, go away. Just leave. <laughs> uh, come back for Bakugan stuff tomorrow. But anyway, so I wanted to talk about the new Pokemon. Um, first off, we're going to look at Yamper, and, uh, he's a very cute little Corgi, electric Corgi Pokemon. Some people, uh, say he kind of looks weird, like a clown or something. I think he looks really cute. He's got a little Corgi butt, and he's got the little electric tail on top of his Corgi butt, and I think it's adorable. Uh, so he's an electric type. Um, I thought he was going to be, like, normal electric, but he's just straight electric, so that's kind of cool. Um, he has this new ability called Ball Fetch, which says, like... The first ball thrown in battle, if he doesn't have a held item, he's going to go and grab it and pick it up. And I think when I originally saw that, I was like, oh, when you try to catch him, he's going to, like, catch the ball. And then, like, you have to use, like, at least two balls on him to do it. But now that I, I think about it, if you're battling with him and you're catching a Pokemon and you miss, I think he's going to go get that ball so you don't waste it. So that's cool for, like, like Nuzlocke stuff, I guess. Is kind of what I'm really thinking he's going to be doing uh, with that ability. Uh, but hopefully he gets, uh, you know, a really cool evolution. I don't know. We have a couple dog Pokemon that evolve, so like Houndor. Um, I, was actually, I was actually talking about this the other day, making like a full dog team. So like uh, Puccina, uh, Houndor, or yeah, Houndor, um, like Zigzagoon, because he's kind of a dog. I guess he's a raccoon. Uh, but like Lillipup. Uh, and then now Yamper, so you can almost make a full dog team, which is kind of fun. Uh, I think that'd be interesting to look at. If I'm forgetting a dog Pokemon, besides the legendary dogs, or uh, the new legendaries, <laughs> uh, put those down in the comments, because I'm not really remembering right now. But um, he's got like a couple known moves that they showed off at the demo, and he had like Play Rough, uh, which is a fairy move, which is kind of interesting. Um, Spark, Crunch, and Wild Charge. Uh, Play Rough is kind of... I don't know, they kind of throw it around a little bit as like one of those kind of all-encompassing moves like crunch. A lot of things no crunch or whatever. So I think that'd be kind of cool to see if he evolved into like an electric fairy. Um, but anyway, uh, so that is Yamper. He's very cute, very adorable. Uh, I'm really excited to see that. My girlfriend loves Corgi. So when I told her there was going to be a Corgi Pokemon, she was freaking out. So I have to freak out with her a little bit. Uh, we might be getting a Corgi sometime in our life. So uh, if I name it Yamper, you, you bet you that might be happening. <laughs> we'll have to see. Um, moving on from Yamper, uh, there's this new guy called Impidimp, which uh, is he's really cool looking. He's like a little demon with like really skinny arms, and he's got like this little mask on him. And uh, when we first, first saw him, we didn't know what his typing was, but then revealed later it's Dark Fairy, which is a really cool typing. Uh, I think you only have so many... Um, he has like a couple, like two resistances or something, and then like only like three weaknesses or something. Yeah, three, maybe. Uh, I might be wrong there. But um, it's a really cool typing. Uh, and obviously this thing is going to have to evolve. There's no way they're going to keep this thing this low. Um, and uh, so like uh, in the in the demo that people were playing at E3, he had a couple moves. So like Assurance, Sucker Punch, and then Play Rough. So he has the Play Rough too, which is interesting. Uh, two fairy moves in the uh, little Pokemon that they're showing off. Um, but yeah, I, I think he's going to be really cool. He's got a really cool design. Um, he's got like a really pointy nose. Uh, and yeah, um, I, I like his model. I think he looks kind of cool. It's, it's not exactly, 
you know, a Pokemon looking thing. So it's it's gonna be cool to see what they evolve him into. Um, but Yamper, Yamper looks, Yamper looks like he's been a Pokemon for a long time. Like I, I like the design of him. I, I think he fits in really well. Um, so really excited about those guys. Uh, a Dynamax Yamper just looks insane. <laughs> it is a giant Corgi on the battlefield. It's really hilarious. They show that in the demo. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, um, another like little one that they kind of showed off um, in one of the gym battle scenes. They were like showing uh, like the the crowd or whatever, and like like different camera angles, which is really cool. We're getting like like uh, there's like a Rotom camera that's like flying around the stadium and stuff while you're playing, and like it'll switch camera angles to like him, and like it was showing the crowd or whatever. And there's this kid with this little uh, squirrel. Uh, it's, like, it's like a green jacket or uh, cover up or whatever and he's got a little squirrel with thing on it and I mean we have a squirrel in Pachirisu but um, this one there was like a leak I'm sure most of you have heard of it by now if you're anywhere interested in these Pokemon games uh, that has now been basically confirmed to be true because we got like new trainers and stuff that are on there we'll talk about it here in a second um, but uh, they said something about these like two different squirrel Pokemon that would come out of a tree uh, if you shook it too much. So like if you saw some of the gameplay, there was like a moment where like you could shake the tree and get like berries out of it or whatever. And they said like if you shake the tree too much, one of these two squirrel Pokemon are going to come out and attack you, and then like steal half of what you got or something. It, it, I don't know. It sounds funny. Um, but this kid has a, a picture of it on his shirt, so we don't know a name, we don't know a type, we don't know anything about it. If the leaks are true. Um, then we do have a name, but I won't say it yet because uh, until that like gets confirmed, I don't want to really talk about it. So, um, yeah, so really neat. Uh, so that's like three new new Pokemon that they kind of revealed or whatever. Um, I mean, we saw all the other ones like Corviknight, Dreadnaw, uh, the little Flower Girl, Glossifer, Eldegoss, and of course Wooloo, Wooloo Gang all the way, and, and the starters. We didn't get really any new information on them or anything. Uh, but, uh, just, you know, random stuff. So, all right. So, uh, a new thing here, uh, I'm kind of going like through Cerebi cause that's like my mainstay for like Pokemon news. Uh, I know there's like a bunch of different sites. I've just literally been coming to this website since I was like 12. <laughs> so, uh, I just, I, I always use it for stuff cause they, they do a really good job of reporting on the stuff. But the, so the Rotom Dex is back, uh, from like Sun and Moon or so, yeah, Sun and Moon, um, and, but he's actually like in a little phone, so uh, you can bet there's going to be like Rotom cases available at some point <laughs> for your phone. Uh, but he's really cool. Um, and then they had this thing on here that says, uh, with the bike returning once again, um, Rotom phone incorporates itself into it. And it says that it can attach itself to your bike in order to gain more speed. And then also to traverse over water, which sounds really cool. That's something they've never done before. Um, I wonder... I, I'd hate to see that like replace surfing, um, but maybe it's just over like the lakes in the uh, the, the wild area, um, because there was like those small that are kind of open lakes with like the Gyarados and all the stuff that we saw in the trailers. Um, if that's what he's kind of going to help you go over, I think that'd be kind of cool. It'd just be you know ease of access to that kind of thing. So I thought that was, I, would, I thought that was really interesting to mention. All right, and so one of the other things I wanted to mention was in the uh, demo at E3, we actually got a good look at the second gym, which is the water gym, or second or third, I think it was second. Uh, but uh, it was the water gym, and like there was a whole playthrough of the gym, and it's massive. It's this giant like room with like giant waterfalls and stuff that are like puzzles, and like you got to go flip the switches and turn a waterfall off to go through, and just really cool, you know, classic Pokemon gym stuff, which is nice because we didn't have that in Sun and Moon. So maybe they listened to us, and, you know, we kind of wanted our gyms back. Um, in that leak that was kind of going around, there was a guy saying, like, um, you're going to have, like, trials inside the gym sometimes. So that would be cool. I wouldn't mind that. I just love the fact that you go into this place, and you have to fight this gym leader, and you earn your badge. Uh, by doing that and uh, I don't know I, I just as a fan for a long time that's just been my f I mean I had no problem with them trying it in Sun and Moon because it was like a different style you're on this like island thing and it kind of played into the story and it was perfectly fine uh, for me anyway um, but I love the fact that we're going back I think it fits in so well um, so we did get to see the new gym leader whose name is Nessa 
which was in the leak. So that is why uh, this is looking to be like somebody was actually, you know, getting this information there. Uh, so if you want to go check that leak out, I would go check it out. There's a bunch of videos on it. I don't need to do one. Um, but yeah, go check it out. So uh, she has a Dreadnaw, which is a water rock type, which I kind of like that typing. It's kind of neat. Um, uh, and I don't know if he's going to evolve. I really don't think he's going to. Uh, that's my opinion. People around say otherwise. Uh, if anything, I think something's going to evolve into it. Uh, it looks like a, a, you know, just a basic Pokemon. Um, but, uh, you fight her, she Dynamaxes her Dreadnaw, you know, you got the three turns where you have to figure out how to fight this thing. Uh, in the demo, you had, like, one of each starter, uh, a Corviknight, uh, you had one of each starter, a Corviknight, a Yamper, and, uh, I don't remember what it was now, uh, an Impidimp, I think, and you got to try all the new Pokemon. Um, so, uh, you have to Dynamax your Pokemon to fight against hers or try to figure out a way to wait out uh, the giant massive water attacks or the rock attacks that this, this thing is throwing at you. And it's huge because it's already kind of a big Pokemon and then it's Dynamaxed and it looks massive. And it's funny to see like this, the higher evolutionary Pokemon or like the basic Pokemon with like decent like hardcore design details to them facing off against like the starters which are just like circles with faces on them usually it's just kind of funny to see a dynamaxed you know it, it would be funny to see like a dynamax torchic against a dynamax dreadnought or something like that so it, it's just really cool uh dynamic they have by adding this dynamax thing in there i just thought it was really interesting so uh let's go ahead and talk about the um the problems people are starting to uh find with the game all right, so uh, one of them, or the really main problem that you're probably seeing all this controversy uh, flying around this game, uh, is that we got confirmation from them that they are not going to have all of the Pokemon in the game. Uh, we did get confirmation that in total, Pokemon-wise, there are now going to be over a thousand. So um, that's nice to know. I mean, it's always nice to have new Pokemon. Um, but we're not going to have all 1,000 in the game. And when they said that, they literally meant they are not coding some of these Pokemon into the game. So, like, you won't be able to just transfer them in. So they have this whole new Pokemon Home thing, which is supposed to be like an update to the Pokebank, where you can transfer your Pokemon in and out and through all your games. Uh, you know, the old way, get them all the way from whatever, and get them into the current games but the problem with that is now is that you don't know if you're going to be able to get your you know favorite uh maractus from whatever generation that was from five something like that and bring it all the way into here because you know that's a pokemon that you don't know if that's going to be in this game so um i'm on Serebii again and i'm kind of going through they have a part that is confirmed pokemon in the game um and my opinion is that everything from Gen 1 is going to not necessarily need to be in the game, but I literally don't see a point in them just having Let's Go, um, Pikachu and Eevee, and they had their whole transfer thing with Pokemon Go, and it literally just was there, and that's going to be able to connect to Pokemon Home, and then not be able to take all of those 150 into the new game. I just don't think that that's going to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and say that the first generation is all going to be in the game. Um, and it's just that normal, not cash grab, but you, everybody played Gen 1. It's that thing they keep doing. All the TCG sets have Gen 1 stuff. We now have two Charizard GXs, which is insane. And the new one they just released, it looks good. <laughs> but um, I, that's my opinion, because like we already have Charizard, Butterfree, Raichu, Clefable, Ninetales, Arcanine, Machamp, Onyx, uh, which means Steelix. We have Gengar, of course. How could they forget Gengar? Rhydon, which means Rhyperior. Uh, sea King, Gyarados, all the Evolutions, of course, because uh, let's go Eevee. Snorlax, uh, there was a video of it like running. It was kind of funny. Um, uh, and then that's all the Gen 1 stuff I think that they've shown so far. Uh, but that's a widespread already. Um, but then moving into some things that are in some other games, we have Noctile, Lantern, which is one of my favorites. Togetic means Togekiss. 
uh, Quagsire, Wobbuffet, Weavile we saw, uh, Dynamaxed, which was really dope, uh, Mantine, there's a Tyranitar like running around in the desert, so you know that he's going to be in here. Ludicolo, of course, from the movie. <laughs> That's what I, another thing I say that all the things from the uh, let's go uh, let's go Pikachu movie, uh, Detective Pikachu movie. I think they're going to have to be in the game too because those are you know tangible recent things that everyone could enjoy. So why not put them in the game? Uh, Pelipper, uh, Gardevoir, which means Gallade, Manectric, one of my favorites. All the Gen Three stuff. Uh, so like Roserade, which from Roselia and from Budu. Uh, Whale Lord, uh, the meme right now going around is what is a Dynamaxed Whale Lord going to look like? <laughs> um, luckily, we're getting Flygon, who doesn't get a lot of love these days, so that's nice. Melodic, Dusclops, which means Dusnor, uh, Gallade, Frostlass, and then moving into some newer stuff, we have Vespa Queen, Dif Driftbloom, uh, Bronzong, Lucario, of course, that's like a mainstay, which, you know, definitely probably also means Greninja at some point. Uh, Hapowdon, Abomasnow, Gigalith we saw in one of the trailers, Palpatode, which means Seismitoad, uh, Garbodor, uh, <laughs> sadly we're getting the ice cream cones of uh, Vanillite, Vanillish, and van uh, Vanillix, uh, sadly, again. Um, so, uh, and uh, Haxorus, which is nice, um, I didn't think he would make it, make the cut, and so, uh, a bunch of other guys, Hydreigon, I'm going to skip across a lot of these, Gudra, uh, good Pokemon, uh, Galissapod, which is my boy. He's in the game, so I'm already happy. Look, people, um, I don't know if y'all know this or if I've even mentioned it. I, my favorite Pokemon of all time ever, you can't beat it for me, is Nidoking. Um, if my theory about the Gen 1 thing is correct, then we should still have Nidoking. Um, but, like, by far... Like, no close seconds, Nidoking is my favorite Pokemon, guys, and uh, it, it, it's just been with me for a long time. I have I have a Nidoking on one of my games from, like, Fire Red that I, I brought up, so, like, it, it's just close to me, uh, you know, so. Uh, but Nidoking and Galis Galispod is my favorite TCG Pokemon, because uh, I love that deck. I showed it in, like, my 1,000 subscriber video or whatever, so. Anyway, um, I understand the the like what seems like hatred <laughs> that's going around for this stuff right now because I know I'm gonna feel the same way if like Nitto King gets cut um so like if they cut out somebody and that's your favorite Pokemon and they're not in the new game I completely understand where you're coming from and I guess I can see I, I can agree with your complaints um the reason they said this is because, well, because we wanted to make a cleaner game with, like, cooler animations and stuff like that. And the reason they couldn't actually code them in is because they needed more space for stuff like that. And then there's complaints because in the demo, like, Score Bunny didn't have a an animation for, like, his physical attack. And it's just kind of like, mm, that, that doesn't sound like you cut out things for a good reason. So, um, again, I'm not here to complain. Um, I, I'm, I'm on the hype train all the way. Like, I'm getting both games. I'm probably going to get the Steelbook thing just because uh, I love it. I'll probably buy, like, a strategy guide because I like to, like, collect them if they release one. Um, but I don't know, guys. <laughs> we're going to see. Uh, uh, this is the time of the year where we're now going to get uh, Korra Korra leaks and stuff like that. So we'll be seeing new Pokemon. And, um, you know, there's always a chance for a random Nintendo Direct where they'll address things. Um, but, uh, as of now, it's looking kind of weird because of the whole Pokedex situation. Um, just looking at the roster here, I'm not mad about anything they've released so far. So, um, and then we do get, like, you know, half a Pokedex of new Pokemon. So, uh, maybe those will hold us over until they can, like, you know, DLC the old Pokemon back in. Which I think they're going to have to do. Because as soon as, like, uh, Pokemon Go catches up, uh, and stuff that I feel like they're going to add them into the game with it uh, and you know we'll probably have a good two three years with this game um, and they might definitely should have time to put them into another game uh, in the future so even if that's the case I feel like they're gonna either catch up or definitely fix it and whatever's next for the franchise so